What's up guys? We got some good news. I did not have a stroke yesterday, so Frankie's Free Range Meat will be in business for at least six more days until next Monday. You know what I need? A tall, skinny Native American girl to come in here on her horse, just tie me up, kidnap me to the forest, Great Plains, wherever we're going, and I can live happily ever after in a teepee. That's what I need. But uh, back on topic, I did want to remind you guys a few things. Uh, please try to order at least 12 pounds of product with this summer heat, unless there's a certain poundage of meat to stay frozen, we're just not gonna ship it. You know, we're not sending you know, five pounds of steaks to Arizona with 20 pounds of dry ice. That doesn't make any sense whatsoever. So especially if you guys are on the West Coast, if you're placing any orders, just try to make it at least 12 pounds of product otherwise you know, we can't really do it at this point, which is basically around what our order minimum is. You know, if you're ordering 12 pounds of product, it usually is around $100. And the main new thing that should be coming this week is the potato chips, which I'll talk about a little bit later. Uh, keep an eye out for those on the weekend. And we might have a new product next week or the week after on Frankie's Naturals. Not 100% sure yet. Past few weeks, a lot of new stuff. I think we announced the fish last week. We got the halibut, the cod, and the salmon. Uh, the week before that, we had the collagen sausage and Iberico pork sausages back in stock. And uh, we should have some more meat restocks this week if you guys have been missing anything. You guys know we have so many new products on the Frankie Strange Foods website. From the udon noodles I eat every day for dinner to macadamia nuts, beans. Check it out, guys, frankiestrangefoods.com. Almost all of the bars are in stock. Uh, we just made some very best bars down here with the new uh, bags I think I showed you guys last week. All the nutrition facts and everything on them. Uh, my guys did have time to make some of the organic granola bars that you guys have been buying all of. Uh, these are the dark chocolate chip granola bars and we also have the white chocolate chip granola bars which are kind of similar to the, the quinoa crisp. Uh, the quinoa crisp, a uh, little less grain based, more bananas. This is kind of nice as like a snack on the side, whereas the granola bars for me are more of a breakfast thing. We got pemmican in stock up here, and then these are the Tatomi's bars, dark and white chocolate. I'm not gonna talk too much about the, the new natural stuff and the supplement stuff. Maybe we'll touch more on that next week, but you guys know we have a lot of new products on both Frankie's Naturals as well as organ supplements. And then there have been restocks on Wi-Fi shielding for pretty much all of the sizes of like the t-shirts, the underwear, and all the anti 5G EMF protection stuff. Let's hop in the fridge real quick. So we did restock some water kefir for you guys today. A few cases of water kefir. It's been selling out pretty much every day. Kind of overstocked a little bit on some kefir and some milk. So the dairy has been kind of hit or miss. You guys have been buying all the eggs for the most part. I'm not really sure what to do on the dairy. Uh, I lowered the price on it to try to help the farmer out and, uh, and move some more product, but that didn't really work and it's still pretty inconsistent sales every week and I think I'm losing money in general on the dairy. So I think next week I'm gonna have to just put the price where it's supposed to be. And the issue with that is if the sales tank even more, and then I start telling this farmer to like stop producing as much dairy. We just might not be able to carry dairy in general, but what I'm guessing is, you know, people might buy some meat from me and then they're buying the dairy from someone else. So uh, I'm not sure if we're going to be able to, you know, keep the dairy in stock if the, if the demand is lower because the farmer might not want to do it. But, you know, it, it's a double-edged sword. He's asking a high price for the product because he's not really set up that well to do it and we, we can't really make a profit on it even now so we'll see we'll see we'll we'll see how the next few weeks goes with the dairy but i'm kind of done trying to make it work because uh, i'm losing my mind you know if, if the egg sales are inconsistent for a week or two you know the eggs don't go bad for a while but if i get bad dairy sales for two or three weeks in a row and i'm out a few thousand dollars like that's why i'm losing my fucking mind not making any money yeah i'm definitely looking forward to those potato chips later this week so we're gonna have organic potato chips fried in organic coconut oil with uh, custom organic seasoning blends made by me. Uh, those should be here this Friday, which I'm really excited about because, uh, if, guys, if I don't do new products every week, like the amount of nonsense that goes wrong is just, is just insane. 
Like I'm still dealing with issues from FedEx, from the post office. Like I've told, like they're not sending enough trucks to pick up the pop boxes on Mondays. I got these clowns from the post office taking like rotten boxes of product that they, so they'll take my box of eggs, they'll crush it. And then after it sits in the hot warehouse for five days and there's flies and stuff all over it, they put it back in the front of my building, eggs dripping everywhere. Like they didn't break the box in the first place. It's just dealing with stuff like that. Like if, if my customers ever get eggs like that, I issue a refund immediately. And then FedEx doesn't even give me the claim credit back. You know, I'm probably losing $1,500 a week between the shipping issues, the chargebacks and, um, and orders being just delayed one or two days. So it's, you know, even with all these different products and revenue streams, barely keeping afloat but let's uh I don't think we have too much to look at in the freezer I'll just give you guys a quick look yeah we showed you guys last week we have all the new seafood whether it's cod halibut or salmon there's some salmon over here that's all actually the new the new chicken the more affordable chicken that we're gonna have so we're still trying to organize that yeah, I'm only wearing a single t-shirt today, so uh, that freezer's about zero degrees. I don't really want to stay in there too long. Plus, if I fog up my camera, we're going to have to uh, just kind of end the vlog there. So that's going to be a lot of those laying hens, the corn and soy-free chickens. Uh, the price on that is going to be like 60 to 70% of what we normally charge for the chicken, which is just, it's just really, really, really affordable like pasture raised high quality chicken way 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 less than half the price of anything else online uh, because we're going to sell like you know half a pound of breast is going to be like seven dollars or something and all, all the wings thighs and drumsticks are going to be over a pound in weight and like less than eight dollars each i think so it's going to be really really good price on the chicken uh, that should be ready in another week or two we're just waiting for the rest of it to come in to figure out what the price is and then I think tomorrow we're gonna have another delivery come in and restock a lot of meat stuff. Uh, but that's enough complaining for one day. So as always, thank you guys for continuing to support the business. Uh, I'll make some announcements and send out some emails uh, later this week uh, when we get any new stuff in, the restocks on the meat and the potato chips. Uh, we did give away some chicken extract, chicken soup with every order this week. Uh, I was trying to put a dent in uh in our chicken bone supply but i didn't really there's just a lot of labor on our end and i'm still staring at two pallets of chicken bones in the freezer so go figure uh, we definitely need more than one amish rant today but if you guys go to frank you guys can see all of my interesting businesses and products uh, all health oriented a lot of unique stuff that you guys can't get anywhere else but uh, as always if you guys can drop a like on the video leave a comment down below Make sure to subscribe and check that notification bell and I'll see you guys soon.